Hey friends, I'm Diane. Welcome to my farmstead dream. Today we're going to use our garlic tops with chard and some herbs. Also some of that large leaf sorrel I told you I would show you when I used it. And some rice to make a beautiful meal and use our garlic greens. So for the rice, we butter, minced garlic, chicken broth, and of course the rice. We're going to use four tablespoons of butter, and I couldn't get it to cut. Plop it in our pot. This is an iron cast iron pot. I love my cast iron. We're going to melt the butter really well on medium heat. We're going to add our minced garlic to the pot. And we're just going to give that a quick stir and let it cook just long enough to get fragrant. Then we're going to add our rice into that garlic and butter. I'm using a cup and a half of rice. And I used about five tablespoons of garlic because this is really, really, this is called garlic, uh, garlic butter rice. And it is so delicious and so flavorful. So I'm just stirring the rice into that garlic and butter just so that the rice can soak up those flavors before you add the liquid. Then I'm going to add two and a half cups of chicken broth, which adds even more flavor to the dish. I'm going to give it a good stir. And then I'm going to add some herbs. Here I have oregano, thyme, a little rosemary, and some lemon balm. I'm going to stir those in. And then I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt. That's more than a pinch, but I like salt. Bring it to a bowl and put the lid on. Put it on medium low and let it simmer. Then we're going to chop up our large leaf sorrel. I'm taking off any of the larger sized stems just because you don't want them to be in there because sometimes they can be a little tough. So I'm just going to chop these up into kind of diced, diced sized pieces. <laughs> These give it a good lemon flavor. And then I'm going to cut the ribs out of the chard. Those ribs are really, really tough. You can eat them, but they're pretty stringy and they're pretty tough and they're a little hard to chew. So I always take them out. And these are huge, huge chard leaves. Really and truly, you don't want to let them get this big, but I did because I didn't have a chance to harvest them, so we're eating them this way. But they're okay because they turned out really delicious. My husband really loved it. Once you get all the ribs removed, you can just chop them up. I fold them just because it's a little easier to handle them <laughs> when you fold them. And so it makes my life a little easier to, to cut them up into the smaller pieces that I want. And you can cut them up into whatever size pieces you want. Chard is like spinach, so it's going to cook down really small anyway. Now we're going to just give the rice a stir. It's been cooking for a few minutes. And what I do, because I have this in this iron uh, cast iron pot, um, once all the water cooks out, I can turn the heat off and the rice will continue cooking. Now we're going to take all of the brown tips off of our 
garlic tops and get any brown stuff out of the batch. <laughs> there you go. And then we're just going to chop them into, I'd say, half inch pieces. It doesn't really matter. You're basically using this for flavoring, not really as substance, if you know what I mean. And I really just eyeballed this. I don't really know, you know, a measurement of how much to use. <laughs> then we are going to take a cast iron skillet with I'm bacon grease in here. And I added about a tablespoon of minced garlic just for some good flavoring. Let that just warm for a second. And then I'm going to add in the green garlic top. Just going to give those a quick stir and let them soak up a little bit of that bacon grease because, um, yum, what's better than garlic and bacon grease? <laughs> Sorry about my phone beeping. And then we're going to add in the chard. Now, you want to add a lot of chard because it does wilt down really small like spinach. So, I used a whole big bowl of chard. And I turned off the heat because I could hear underneath the chard, I didn't want my garlic to burn. And it was frying pretty good. So I'm just going to stuff everything in there. I'm not going to give it a stir yet because the pan is just too full and I don't want to end up with half of it on the floor. <laughs> so I'm just going to... Um, Get it smooshed down just a little so that I can put the lid on it and let it um, let it wilt down just a little bit. And once it's wilted down, then you can give it a stir and get it all mixed in with the garlic greens and the bacon grease and that minced garlic. And oh my goodness, it smells so delicious. I've also heard that you can use the garlic tops to make garlic salt, so I will try that in another video. Now I'm going to add that sorrel that I told y'all I would video when I used some of that. And it gives it such a good lemony flavor. I'm adding in some herbs, rosemary, um, cilantro, uh, oregano, and then balm and some salt. This kind of needs a lot of salt because it's not very flavorful without it. It just brings out the flavor. And then that is some lemon juice. Just to add to that lemony flavor. I'm going to give it all a stir again. Mix it all. Incorporate everything well. And then I'm going to turn the heat off and finish the rice. Now that the rice is finished, I have the garlic butter rice, the greens, and some delicious chicken that my husband made on the Blackstone Grill. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And look at how yummy that looks. I added some fresh cucumber to the plate and... Put a fork on there for mom so I can give her her dinner. <laughs>